what to look for when choosing a display. The first thing I'll be looking for would be an Adobe RGB colour space. This colour space allows us to see many, many more colours than a traditional sRGB monitor can. It means that we can see these colours and we can interact with them efficiently. It also matches or comes very close to matching the CMYK offset process and many, many inkjet uh, print spaces. The next thing I'll be looking for would be size. 27 inch display is perfect for working in Photoshop. It's not too large and it's not too small and it gives ample room for your palettes. The next thing I'd be looking for is an IPS style panel. IPS is a relatively new technology, but it also allows you to look at your screen at angles. It doesn't mean you have to be sitting right in front of your monitor to get the true likeness on representation of that image. I'd also be looking for a 10-bit display. The 10-bit display gives us a much larger tone gradation. It means that we can see more subtle highlights and more shadow detail. And it means that we're not going to be over-processing our files, trying to compensate for information that we can't see. Last but not least is a monitor hood. A monitor hood can cut ample stray light away from your display. It also means that you can be seeing richer colours and it can also help you avoid those unnecessary distractions.